And Sky is 4624. Parallel runway traffic is short final, no factor. Roger. So that's us on short final as we head into Palm Springs International Airport. And yep, this is another desert airport. And yep, you got to worry about all those things that you have to worry about every desert airport. Strong winds and high density altitude. And when I mean high density, I mean high density. I remember my first cross country night trip was to this airport and nine o'clock at night landing, it was still 95 degrees. So you can only imagine what it was during the day. Now, one of our favorite things about this airport is its air museum. It's amazing. It has so many different aircrafts, has so many exhibits. And today specifically, we were going because they were going to have Top Gun's Dark Star exhibit. They actually had the plane from the movie there. And spoiler alert, it really is just a movie prop, but a really cool looking one. You'll notice I veer off to the right a little bit and it's because I got surprised with some gust from the left. And you never, never get complacent when landing in the desert. I did, but I learned my lesson. Now, if you're coming for the museum, I'd recommend staying at Atlantic. It's on the same side, so if you need to walk, it's less than a mile. Atlantic was nice enough to give us a ride to the museum, but we did walk back and it wasn't too bad. And 3 Niner Hotel, you can roll all the way to the end, turn left and into park with me. All the way to the end, turn left, and uh, we'll stay with you, 3 Niner Hotel. With the runway length being almost 5,000 feet, here's probably another instance I could have just landed long. I love how that little Cessna is sitting right between two private jets. Now I might see glaringly obvious now that there is no transient parking. There's only FBO parking. But one of the things that my wife and I always make sure we do is we take advantage of everything they have to offer. I mean, you're paying all these fees. You might as well take advantage. So we took a crew car and went into Palm Springs before the exhibit. And I definitely recommend you guys do the same. If there's a crew car, take it. Take it for the two hours that they usually have it for. If they have snacks, eat them. My wife and I have a joke that originates from an event we went to where the VIP section that you had to pay for had a free Wi-Fi sign. Nothing free about it. You already paid for it. So a courtesy car, free cookies, free waters. Yeah, pretty much you paid for all that already with all the fees. So when you visit the FBO, get all your free Wi-Fi's. So you might have noticed we're all the way out in the boonies, but don't worry, they'll give you a ride to and from your airplane. Between the tie down chains and the chocks, your plane's pretty secure, especially when those winds start to pick up.
All right, time for a pilot's favorite part, the checklist. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you don't want to miss our next airport, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about this airport, please leave a comment. And don't forget to check the description down below for a full breakdown of our fees here at Atlantic. And here's a peek at that Dark Star exhibit.